Hey guys, you're watching Let's Talk About Prepping. Now, I recently learned that preppers like knives. This is news to me, I thought it was just one of my own many oddities. But if that's the case, let's talk about knives. Alright, jokes aside, I don't like it when folks tell other people what knives to use. I think knives are like opinions. Everyone's got the best one, and they're trying to sell it to you. I'm just going to show you the knives that I like, tell you what I like to use them for, and let you take that at face value. Lately, I've been using a razor blade the most. I love the utility of a razor blade. It provides a super fine cut, and as soon as it gets dull, you can swap it over and replace it. And when they're cheap or free, that's super handy. A lot of folks say that you can simply keep your pocket knife at razor sharpness, and you can, but you're going to be sharpening it just as often as you're replacing that razor blade, and I'd rather not spend all that time sharpening. Uh, it's a cute idea, but I'm just rather obtuse on the subject. Now, aside from the utility of a razor blade, you might use it for self-defense, and something stabby like this would be pretty handy. It's also got serration on it, it's a little heavier, and it's discreet. Now, discretion is what a lot of people pick a folding blade over a fixed blade for. That's the only reason I can think of, because a fixed blade is stronger, it doesn't have any weak points for you to be cautious of, and I don't like that in a tool. I don't want to worry if it's going to collapse onto my fingers and cut me, I've had that happen, or break when I'm trying to lever something, and I've had that happen. I want to know that I've got a strong tool that is uh, going to cover all the bases that are not covered by a razor blade, and that's why I tend to carry a fixed blade. I'm not worried about discretion with my lifestyle in the area that I'm at. Now, this one also has a little spot for a sharpening stone, and that's very handy. Now, aside from your utility fixed blade, you also have things like daggers. This is one that I carry upside down on my bug out vest. Real handy just to have something stabby right there and handy. It's going to do all the things that any of these kinds of knives will do. Uh, that one went to Granada with a family member. Now, this one is an extremely handy knife. This is my go into the woods knife. I have abused the heck out of this knife. It's very dull because I have used it for all kinds of stuff. Uh, splitting wood, chopping branches off of trees, digging saplings out of the ground, you name it. Things a few pounds, it would knock someone out if you hit them with it. Not to mention how much force it has when stabbing, hacking, any number of things. I have really put this thing through the torture test. It's gonna get some TLC. And I really wouldn't suggest spending a lot of time in the woods beyond a day height with something that small. Uh, you really need something that's going to get some hard work done if you expect to be doing some hard work. So on that vein, this knife is also a sentimental knife that has been in the military with family. Uh, this is a very good knife, but it's going to stay well taken care of and put away until any day that it might be needed. It's very hefty, extremely sharp, nice high carbon steel, definitely a handy kind of blade. So I really suggest having something hefty, a hunting knife, a bowie blade, whatever it takes to have something, it's going to get some real work done. All right, this next one is not necessarily a knife. I thought I'd start a little controversy here. What is the difference between these two? This one folds and this one folds, and they both have serrated teeth. Now, this one doesn't have any single straight bladed edge, and I guess that is what would make it not a knife. But, just thought we'd ask the question. I put that in my pocket, and I put that in my pocket, and I wouldn't really put a saw in my pocket. Now, this one is purely a novelty knife big fat blade. I would probably be more likely to put this on a spear than anything else. And a big fantler plastic blade. And extremely cumbersome. I've actually stepped on this in such a way that it did that before. So know your knives, know the risks, know the advantages. My personal favorites are these three and this one if I was using it. Obviously, the handsaw, really handy in a lot of situations. Going to do a lot of things these ones can't. But if I had to pick just three knives for the rest of my life, it would probably be these three right here. 
Obviously, they're going to be better, more expensive options of each of these styles and designs, more high quality steels and things like that. I'm not saying that these specific three knives are the best knives in the world, but the jobs that they get done, the uses that I put them to, these cover the ones that I want covered. Obviously, there are fillet knives, drop point boot knives, all kinds of knives that you can use for all kinds of situations. And I don't knock anybody for having different preferences. But there's what I like, and I'm sticking to it. Hopefully that's informative. Share your thoughts down below in the comments. Thanks for watching, and stay safe out there.